Space Rocket Museum. You're about to explore the former USS Growler, a guided missile submarine that served during the Cold War. I'd like to share some background on Growler to prepare you for your visit and give you a better understanding of this submarine's significance. By the time I'm finished, you'll be ready to enter the submarine. Growler served with the U.S. Navy from 1958 through 1964 during the height of the Cold War between the United States and the Soviet Union. Growler represents an early effort by the Navy to use submarines as launch platforms for nuclear missiles. Growler carried four Regulus-1 cruise missiles. The Regulus-1 missile was essentially a radar-guided jet aircraft that carried a nuclear warhead. Each missile had a maximum range of 500 miles and was powerful enough to destroy an area as large as New York City. Growler was a key part of the United States nuclear deterrence strategy. The United States believed that the threat of nuclear weapons lurking offshore would deter the Soviet Union from launching a strike against the United States. To accomplish this mission, Crowler patrolled off the Soviet Union's Pacific coastline, staying hidden below the surface as much as possible. The crew stood ready for an order to fire the submarine's nuclear weapons at targets in the Soviet Union. To launch the missiles, Crowler needed to be on the surface like it is right now. The missiles had to be unloaded and launched one by one. Crowler's crew practiced launching the Regulus many times. Thankfully, they never received an order to launch an attack. Many crew members believed that if they launched the missile, it would be quickly discovered and destroyed by the enemy. They lived with this risk every day while on patrol. Growler's longest time on patrol was 72 days. Two months at sea may not sound so difficult, but on a submarine, it's a different story. Growler's crew numbered from 90 to 100 men. They worked, slept, ate, and relaxed inside these close quarters. While on patrol, Growler stayed below the surface. The crew could not leave the submarine. They had no sunshine, no starlight, and very little fresh air. As you move through the submarine, imagine what life was like for these men, and keep in mind that every single one of them served on Growler voluntarily. As technology improved, newer, larger submarines with more sophisticated missiles made Growler obsolete. It was decommissioned in 1964 after six years of service. The Navy planned to use Growler as target practice for another submarine, until it was rescued by the Intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum. In 1988, Congress turned control of Growler over to the museum, and it opened to the public a year later. Growler is now the only U.S. Navy missile submarine open to the public. It is remarkably intact from its Navy service and retains most of its original features. We ask for your help in preserving this historic missile. Please do not touch anything.